photo by Sean M. Haffey, Getty Images, Los Angeles Dodger C. Never thought I would be writing these words again, at least so soon. When the Los Angeles Dodgers were defeated by the Houston Astros in the 2017 World Series, I never thought that I would have to cope with another team coming back into Dodger Stadium and winning the World Series. Quite frankly, the pessimism ran down after last year's World Series and I worried that the team would go another 29 years without winning the pennant. Then came the optimism, if the team actually does make it there is no way they would lose two years in a row. For an entire year, Dodger fans kept calling this team, the second version of the 2014-2015 Kansas City Royals, an immensely talented team that came up short one year and charged back with a vengeance the next year. Instead, the Dodgers look like the 2010-2011 Texas Rangers, who lost two consecutive World Series and have not made it back to the ALCS since. The Dodgers are geared up to stay relevant with a deep and talented farm, but I pray that this team doesn't take the same path as the Rangers. To avoid falling out of contention, the Dodgers' front office is going to have to pull the right strings this offseason. This is not an easy offseason to manage either, as there are six big storylines entering the winter. Next, should he stay or should he go? Page 2, photo by Harry Howe, Getty Images, Los Angeles Dodgers This is the biggest storyline surrounding the Los Angeles Dodgers this winter. Clayton Kershaw has been the heart and soul of the Los Angeles Dodgers since 2008, spanning 11 seasons, 8 playoff appearances, 6 National League Championship appearances and 2 World Series berths. Kershaw is a three-time Cy Young, seven-time All-Star, has five era titles under his belt and earned the honor of being the National League MVP in 2014. That is about as good as it can get in 11 seasons of work. Despite having 11 seasons in the league, Kershaw is still right in the prime age for MLB pitchers. At 30 years old, Kershaw should conceivably have at least three more years of prime Kershaw under his belt. The only problem is that Kershaw has battled various injuries and has seen a noticeable dip in his velocity. While he has learned to pitch without a 95mph heater, it is concerning for his longevity. He still finished last season with a 2.73 era. Kershaw has an opt-out in his contract that otherwise would have kept him a Dodger for two more years. Knowing this might be his last chance at securing a long-term contract, Kershaw will likely opt out and attempt to rework a longer deal in LA, however, he also has the freedom to sign elsewhere. While Kershaw does not strike me as someone that will simply follow dollar signs, if the right fit presents itself with a higher bid than the Dodgers, he very well could be pitching in something other than Dodger Blue next year. What is the front office's cap on Kershaw? 5 years, $170 million. Whatever is it, there is bound to be one team that offers Kershaw at least 6 years for $200 million. We will see how that plays out. Next, the other notable free agent to be page 3, photo by Harry Howe, Getty Images, Los Angeles Dodgers Mini Machado was never viewed as a long-term solution for the Los Angeles Dodgers. With Corey Seager out for the season, a deep farm system and a front office that did not want to throw the year away, the team went out and brought in Machado on a half-season rental. While the trade package had some big names, such as Eusneal Diaz, this was a great package for the Dodgers and truly was an affordable price considering the state of the farm system and current roster. It is almost like both sides knew that wherever Machado went, he would not re-sign. After putting up some decent numbers and providing elite hitting at times, many fans flocked onto the Machado bandwagon and are now asking for him to be resigned. I have heard the proposition of moving Seager or Justin Turner to second and keeping Machado at short. I have also heard some fans say that Machado is superior to Seager and Seager should be dealt. That simply is not true. Is there a world in which Machado re-signs with LA and they make it work? Absolutely. However, it just doesn't seem to be a fit and personally, I do not want to see Machado in Dodger Blue any longer.
Machado is a great, superstar player and I cannot knock what he has accomplished in his career at only 26. However, I have never seen a player that says he cares so much about winning seemingly not care when it actually comes to the play on the field. Machado did not impress me this postseason. I'll take a Cody Bellinger, who beats out routine ground balls, over Machado, who gets singles and should be doubles off the wall. New York, Philadelphia, whoever wants to pay him, go ahead. Page 4 Use your arrows to browse photo by Ezra Shaw, Getty Images, Los Angeles Dodgers The Los Angeles Dodgers are in a weird in-between year at the catcher position and it truly is unclear what the team is going to do for the 2019 season. The Dodgers have a ton of catching depth in the farm system. Kiebert Ruiz is the team's best hitting prospect and has the potential to be a truly elite two-way catcher in the MLB. However, Ruiz is not ready to be an everyday MLB catcher, he likely will be a September call-up in the starting catcher in 2020, the duties have been split between Yasmani Grandel and Austin Barnes. However, Grandel is entering free agency and Barnes showed in the postseason that he is very inconsistent at the plate. While he is fine in his role, I do not want him catching every day. The same can be said about Grandel. Grandel was never really viewed as the long-term catcher in LA and his postseason woes dramatically hurt his free agent value this winter. With that in mind, there is a world in which Grandel signs a one-year deal with LA, the most likely situation that will happen is that Grandel accepts the qualifying offer from Los Angeles, tries to redeem himself in 2019 and gets the payday he wants in a free agent class next winter that is pretty thin on catchers. Next, the other position in question use your arrows to browse.